guys, it's Alicia, and I've got my daughter here too. We Hello. are, we're, oh, go ahead and say hi. I cut you off. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we are escaping the house right now because we're going a little bit stir crazy. We got this guy walking on the side of the road I don't want to hit. Uh -huh. um, we uh, are on the Blue Ridge Parkway right now, just taking a little drive. I assume that's okay to be doing. Um, We've seen another, other cars Well, there's other cars here. out here, so. but I'm just saying that's, I guess, not considered, um, what's the term? Social distance. No, uh, a necessary thing. What do they um, call that? Essential. Essential. It's not essential to be driving right now, but I feel like it's essential for my mental health <laughs> to be <laughs> driving right now. So we are taking a little drive on the Blue Ridge Parkway just to get out of the house. And yes, it's social distancing because we're in the car with each other. So who we live with. Um, but yeah, just taking a little drive. It's not the nicest day out here, to be honest. It's kind but of clouded over it, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it, it started out a little nicer, but it took us forever to get out of the house. So um, day started out nicer than it is now. But I still think it's pretty out here getting a little uh, dose of nature. I really, really miss hiking. Um, we want to go hiking, but I don't know if that's going to be possible at all. We were actually going to go try and um, see if we can find somewhere to hike where there's not closure. Or well, people. Or that's open and still, you know, legally yeah. somewhere we can go that doesn't have a lot of people. The Appalachian trailheads are pretty much all closed. Um, we can access that from not too far from our house, but I still don't feel real good about going on the Appalachian Trail if it's pretty much closed. Uh, so we're trying to find somewhere we can go that's not closed, that doesn't have a lot of people, that maybe we can get a little hike in. Um, that is one of the beautiful things about living here in Virginia. There is lots and lots of forest. So we should hopefully be able to find somewhere to go but we're gonna drive up to the peaks of otter check that out i'm thinking that that's gonna be a no-go because um that's a pretty popular spot and even if it is still open i don't want to be doing that with a bunch of people because that's definitely not social distancing if you're somewhere where there's a lot of people so we're gonna go check it out though it's a pretty area up there and this is a pretty drive and uh, yeah, just thought we'd take you with us. So anyway, I've been going stir crazy. Had to get out of the house. I've been in the house for I don't know how many days now. Uh, Weeks more like. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, weird. I did go to the store a little bit ago, but it's been days that I've been in the house. I haven't driven my car in I don't know how long. It feels weird to be driving it, to be honest. But yeah, how are you doing, Lissy? Just really tired of being stuck in one place. Contrary to popular belief, there are some kids who enjoy school. I'm one of those. Well, so I enjoy getting out and like, just like going to school, being in a real classroom, not an online one, and learning, you know, just going somewhere every day. Um, and now we're just stuck constantly. So getting out to do something, even if it just turns out to be a drive, is good. Get a little sunshine. Well, not a lot because it's not very sunny, but <laughs> little sunshine. Hey, you know, these seat warmers are keeping my butt warm, so <laughs> I'm feeling some sunshine where the sun don't She's shine. She's enjoying the seat warmer. It's a, it's a 54 degrees here, which is actually kind of cool. It's been a whole lot. It's what were we in the cool. 80s there at one point? Yeah, but then it's just been the last few days have been kind of chilly. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird, which is not super helpful for the mood either because when we're having those 80 degrees day 80 degrees days 80 degree days you get outside get a little sun you know it's been like windy and cold though oh, here's lately. some here's some cars parked obviously these people are probably out hiking so yeah i don't know how do you feel about not graduating i think that really sucks i was really looking forward to the ceremony and like having my family come and then we were going to have like a little grad trip after around some local yeah. areas. Well, no, we were going to go to Gettysburg. Yeah, that's kind of local though. Like, yeah, well, kind of local. It's it about... in the state. It's in the state. Yeah. No, it's in Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's I don't about... know. 
my history, everyone. Yeah, that's fine. It's about <laughs> four and a half hours, four, four and a half hours from us. Okay, so that, that would have been cool. Yeah. Because um, you've never been to Gettysburg, right? No, I haven't even been to Pennsylvania. I haven't been to that whole, like, east coast, like, super east coast area. Like, the tip of the state. Um... I just kind of said, like, the class of 2020 is going to be remembered as the class that didn't get to graduate. We yeah. will be the toilet paper generation. That's what you'll be known for. Toilet paper generation. <laughs> 2020. Like, you, you think, oh, it's 2020. This is going to be an awesome year. Well, it was going to be eventful somehow, and it just decided to be bad. <laughs> I'm ready for my Skype graduation, guys. Is that what it is, a Skype? I don't know, but that was a joke like a month ago. Oh. And now the joke is probably going to be reality. Well, there's not going to be a ceremony. No. But there's... you are still graduating. Yeah, I'm, I'm still graduating, but we're not going to have the, the band playing the theme and the crowds of family and, you know. Yep, no family coming to see us either. That's That's been a bummer. It has. Because they were all coming. My side of the family was all coming um, mid-May graduation and then like she said we were going to take her and my uh, brother and I were going to take a short little trip up to Gettysburg check that out again my brother and I and mom have been up there but figured that would be a fun thing for her to do and then uh, yeah so that's not happening it would have been nice to have seen everyone before boot camp yeah there's that <laughs> Yeah. have a little morale boosting going on now yeah. it's just like we're, I'm in a funk and I'm just I'm looking forward to boot camp who does that let's <laughs> forward to boot camp hey it'll get you out of the house it's true it'll, and, you, and you won't be social distancing anymore I'm not sure how that's all gonna work but there'll be too much socialization at that point <laughs> there's a nice view out there I don't know if the uh, GoPro is picking that up because I've got it geared towards the front but I talked to my MEPS roommate. MEPS is the medical screening, pre-screening thing that you do in the military before you swear in. And she was my roommate at the hotel. She's going in in less than 10 days. Oh, wow. So she is going, so they're still taking it. Yeah, they're still shipping. She said there's going to be like a quarantine thing going on in the boot camp. And like you're still social distancing in boot camp. I don't get it. I don't know how you're supposed to social distance when everyone's in a room together. <laughs> it's I don't know. That's interesting, though. So what are you guys all doing to stay sane? Are you doing stuff like this? Taking little drives? This is the first drive that we've taken, but my husband actually suggested it, and I was like, that's a good idea, because, you know, we've been talking about how I can't get out and go hiking. We were trying to knock out the uh, Triple Crown here in Virginia on the AT. My daughter and I were, we got McAfee, or how are you supposed to say that? How'd that guy say it's pronounced? McAfee. McAfee. However you want to pronounce <laughs> it. We don't know. We're not, we're not from around here. Um, McAfee. Uh, and then we did Tinker's, Tinker Cliffs. And then the third one that we wanted to knock out was Dragon's Tooth. Well, that's closed. <laughs> so, actually, the funny thing is I think uh, Tinker Cliffs is still open. Interesting. Yeah, but the last one we had on our little bucket list to get that triple crown knocked out was uh, Dragon's Tooth. It's closed. So, um, I might end up having to do that one by myself, which is kind of sad that you don't get to finish that with me. But Yeah. Hey, I can come back in yeah. like 10 years when I finally get leave time. That's the shortest, that's the shortest of the hikes. I think it's less than five miles, so it'd be an easy one to knock out, but... Yeah, I miss my hiking. Hiking is what I would be doing this time of year. Um, actually, I do more hiking in the fall. It's cooler. It's cooler, and it's just, there's not a lot of people out there, which I like. Right now, you got everybody, well, not this year, but typically this time of year, everybody's um, doing the Appalachian Trail, and you've got all your through hikers doing it, so it's pretty busy. So I like to go in the fall when there's nobody out there, but I do still go this time of year, too, because it's it's spring, it's nice, you want to be outside, getting hiking in, and so that's been, that's been kind of a bummer. Um, exercising on my elliptical is nowhere near as fun as, uh. <laughs> as hiking, because hiking to me is not even like exercise, it's just, it's a nice stress relief, it's... 
it's just therapeutic, so I miss it. So this is about as close as I'm going to get to hiking. It's just driving. But, yeah, what are you guys doing? Are you doing anything like this? Um, I've watched about as much TV as I can watch. I've watched about as much YouTube as I can watch, you know. And I've cleaned about as much as I want to clean. So, it's getting a little mundane. But, uh, yeah, we've got till June 10th here. Which, yeah, Texas. I heard that Texas is planning to open within the week or something like that. Oh, wow. Texas is ready to go pretty much. I think a lot of states are, are pushing back a lot right now. with uh, On opening? Yeah. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. But ours is, ours is still June 10th, which is a long time out when you're in April. Oh, we got some bikers up here. Hey, look at them doing their social distance biking. Are they social distance I biking? I think they might have around six feet. Yeah, more than six oh, feet. Oh, yeah, they are. Look at them social distancing. Way to go, guys. I give them a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up, buddy. Except you got to stay further than six feet away when you're exercising because think about it. Yeah, you're giving off. You're, all you're air. expelling more. Um, how, how do you say that? You're. It's going further when you're when you're exercising. There's quite a few people out here, really. Everyone's which which I'm not surprised because again, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> you know. And here we are arriving at Peaks of Otter. We drove around the area a little bit and checked out the different hiking spots. And we were really happy to find out that everyone was at Sharp Top, which is up there to the right. You can kind of see all the cars there. That hike was super, super packed. We drove on down the road to the Flat Top hike, which is nowhere near as popular because it doesn't have the views that Sharp Top does. And we're very happy to find out that nobody was there. So <laughs> we went ahead and got a hike in too. So overall, it was a really good day getting out, taking a drive and getting a hike. I hope you guys enjoyed this little drive with us. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and sane. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.